Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video I'll be giving you a few tips to help ease restless legs and cramps. Now both restless legs and cramps are quite common for women going through perimenopause and even all the way through the postmenopause years. The large drop in oestrogen that we experience has um, an effect on this. Oestrogen has an inflammatory effect on muscles. So if you have got less oestrogen, then you're losing a lot of the inflammatory effect that it would normally have. There are a few other things as well that can, can contribute to uh, restless legs and cramps, such as lack of exercise. If you don't get enough rec regular exercise, then that can cause the restless legs and cramping too. And standing on the spot for too long, if you are in a job where you have to stand but you're basically stationary, it's not a job where you're walking up and down, so it's standing for too many hours without enough movement, particularly in your calf muscles, that can do it as well. And the same goes for sitting, if you have to sit for hours and hours on end without getting the chance to get up and walk around and get those calf muscles pumping, you can find when you get into bed that you've got really twitchy, painful, restless legs and can also be prone to cramps. And if you've ever had cramp, you will know just how painful that can be. So the pain basically, I mean, it probably varies. Everybody's a little bit different, but it can vary from being extremely painful to aching, twitching, jumping. You just can't get your legs comfortable. Uh, it's like they've got a mind of their own almost, you know, you've got no control over the twitching. And as I say, if the spasms turn into full blown cramp, then it can actually be really agonizing. There are a few things you can do to help yourself. As I mentioned some of the causes earlier, um, gentle regular exercise. If you have to stand a lot for work, then try and move around as much as you can to get the calf muscles pumping. And also the same as if you have to sit um, for many hours at work, if you can get up and just have a little walk around on a regular basis, then that can, can take the edge off it as well. You're less likely to find that your legs are so painful. You can buy over the counter painkillers, have a word with a pharmacist, um, they may well be able to recommend something suitable for that particular pain. It's always worth asking because they come up with some other ideas as well. I mean, they might recommend something completely different, such as a muscle rub, which you can try. That may help. Having a nice warm bath before you go to bed, um, that can help because a warm bath does ease pain. It helps to relax muscles and joints. So you might find that that's helpful as well. Just don't have the water too hot because you can trigger off, you know, hot flush, night sweat, or even just drying your skin out is not good. So have it nice and warm, warm and relaxing, good soap, wind down and allow your muscles and your joints and your legs to relax a little bit and to ease off. You can massage, obviously you can massage your legs before going to bed, whether you choose to massage um, some sort of um, rub that's been recommended by your pharmacist into your legs or you may want to just use some aromatherapy oil they smell lovely which is a bonus obviously always check which ones are suitable and always make sure that you follow the dilution instructions because otherwise you'll damage the skin on your legs but massage is really good it's really good for easing pain and getting the muscles in and your joints to relax in your legs Magnesium oil spray is something that I personally use and uh, I do recommend it. It works really well for me. It's like dry oil, so it's not greasy. And you put it directly onto the painful area, massage it in, and I found it really, really effective. So that is something else you might like to try. Also making sure you get enough magnesium in your diet can help because if you are lacking in magnesium in your actual diet, then that can cause joint and muscle problems, which can lead to uh, restless legs and painful cramps. If you find that um, it's getting unbearable, it's getting out of hand, you're not getting any sleep, you're in absolute agony, go and have a word with your doctor. They may be able to recommend something different for you or something stronger, and just to check there's no under 
uh, the underlying cause. So it's worth having a word with your doctor if you can't get on top of this problem yourself and it's making your life a misery, definitely go and check with your doctor and see what they can advise for you. There's just a few tips. They are very basic things that you can try, but they really can help. So give them a go. I hope you do find them useful. If you would like to know when there are other videos coming up on the channel, if you'd like to click the notification bell below the video, and if you'd like to subscribe, there's a subscribe button there too. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon.